We're coming up on 608 here on your beautiful Wednesday morning. A huge shout out, sending good energy to all those teams that are going to be playing basketball right. at the Macon Coliseum today. The Hope y'all win. Yeah. yeah, that's huge. And you know, the, we were talking about it earlier, this whole virtual learning day yeah. stuff. Uh, I, I said that I had it in high school, but it's kind of the, the double-edged sword, right? Because you can get it on a day like today, mm -hmm. and you're able to go to the state championship. We don't have the snow days anymore. It's not like the old, exactly. the old times. But yes, uh, mm. certainly uh, technology changing the world, also changing the weather world as well. You know, our models just keep getting better and better. Here's a live look over downtown Macon this morning. We've got temperatures in the low 50s in a few spots, mid 50s elsewhere. 51 is the current temperature in Macon. Winds out of the northeast at about 10 miles an hour. 54 in Roberta, 55 in Fort Valley. 53 in Byron and in Perry, 55 waking up in Warner Robins, 52 over in Thomaston, and 55 waking up in Montezuma this morning. Got 57 down in Rochelle, 55 in Vidalia, and 53 in Sandersville. All of these temperatures cooler than they were yesterday morning, some 5, 10, even 13 degrees cooler, uh, say in Butler this morning, 11 degrees cooler in Macon, 11 degrees cooler in Sandersville, and 7 degrees cooler in Milledgeville. The cold front that came through yesterday has stalled out down to the south now, so we are reaping the benefits, if you will of the cooler air. We didn't contend with a whole lot of rainfall either, but what you see back into Illinois, Missouri, Arkansas this morning, that is sliding towards central Georgia as we head through the next 24 to 36 hours. Yesterday did set a new daily record, made it to 86 shortly after two yesterday afternoon. It beat the old record at 84, which was set back in 1956 and then tied again last year in 2022. So far this year, we have seen 12 days at 80 or above. This time last year, we had only seen nine days, so running just a little ahead of that. Here we go through the day today. Temperatures only into the 60s. I'm forecasting high temperature is 69 with increasing clouds through the day today. Through the night tonight, the potential for a shower or two waking up in the low 50s tomorrow morning. Remaining overcast through the day tomorrow before a steady rain builds in tomorrow evening. Here we are at 4 p.m. So heading home from work and school, something to be mindful of. We'll keep the scattered showers around through the overnight hours into Friday and then another big wave will rain by the time we get Friday late morning and into the afternoon. I think most everybody has a pretty good chance of seeing that. I brought bump the rain chance up to 80% before we dry out for Friday evening. Clear on the day Saturday, the Forsythia Festival coming up in Forsyth. Great weather on Saturday. Then on Sunday, the clouds begin to build in with showers building in Sunday late afternoon into the evening hours, and that will last through the morning hours on Monday and then clear out by the time we get to Monday afternoon and evening. The other thing going on this weekend, daylight saving time begins. That happens Sunday at 2 a.m., even though 2 a.m. technically doesn't happen. The clocks will go from 159.59 to 3 a.m. early in the morning on Sunday. Now, just a reminder, just because daylight saving begins, it does not mean we gain an hour of daylight. It means the sunrise and sunset times shift. So we're going to be looking at sunrise closer to 8 a.m. now and then sunset closer to 8 p.m. In actuality, the difference between Saturday and Sunday will gain about two minutes of daylight as we're doing every day as we get closer to the summer solstice. Here's the seven day forecast, a 60 percent chance of rain tomorrow, followed by an 80% chance of rain on Friday. But the 80s we've seen for the past week or so, that is history. We're going to be talking about temperatures in the 60s and 70s until next Tuesday when we're going to struggle to get out of the 50s.